Hi, this is Carlton from Stage Research. Uh, we, one of our common questions that we have about SFX is how to set up pre-show music so that when the show starts, you could just hit the next cue to fade out music, but it's not always necessarily known what song that you're going to be on. So let me show you a quick and easy way to set up a uh, multi-part cue that will play numerous different songs until the board operator runs the next cue to take out whatever song is playing. So as you can see in my show here, I have Q1, so that's the pre-show announcement, so that would be the start of my particular show. I am going to go into Windows Explorer and find a folder of music, so we're just going to select all of this as our pre-show music. I tend to select things in the opposite order simply because the Windows clipboard will put it in the reverse order in the queue list. So if you drag this into the queue list now, we will find out that all the songs are in order from 1 through 12. If I selected it the other way around, uh, the last queue that was selected would be your first queue, and I did not want that in my particular situation here. So now that I have my music in here, and we could simply set up an auto follow between each queue. So I'll drag an auto follow in. Uh, control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. So I'm linking all these together. Control V, Control V, Control V, and so on. So now I have one queue that contains 12 songs in it and for a total of 54 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to set all the levels of volume on all these. So first thing I'm going to do is hit the escape key to clear everything out of memory. When I select the first cue, it selects all of the music cues that are part of that effect. If I go into View, Active Matrix, so these are all the channels right now that are in standby mode in S of X. I click on this little arrow up here, and then I get arrow down and adjust all of them. So we'll set a level of minus 20 for nice background music for pre-show. Hit the save, update related cues button, and we'll close the active matrix, and we'll now see that everything is set to minus 20. So now my music will play. When the first song finishes, it will automatically start the next song, and so on. Now, when I want to fade, I don't necessarily want to set up 12 different fade cues. Another quick, simple trick is select all the cues in Q1, or this particular cue, so they're all highlighted. And then I'm going to drag in a volume effect, and that volume effect will automatically make one cue that will affect all the volumes of all the prior cues in here. And we know what we want to do is take them. So again, a little trick, and click on this little button here. All channels are selected. Hit the end key. So that takes me out to my full out volume. And of course, we want to stop whatever is playing at that time. Now, this is great, except for the fact that the auto follows are still active. So even though the song is no longer playing because it's faded out, the autofollow knows that within the period of time it needs to trigger the next effect. So we need to stop all the autofollow cues. So I'll show you a different way to do that. So I'm going to drag in just a stop effect. And then right now the stop effect has nothing associated with it. Click on the little plus minus button here and just select all the auto follows to make sure that they do not trigger the next song when you're not supposed to be there. Okay, and then finally we'll clean this up a little bit. Uh, fade music to stop and then we'll add a wait cue in here and we'll scroll that down to about a one. So now I have two cues. The first cue are all my songs, all 12 of them that will play one after another. Let's compress that. 
and then I have my second queue here which will go ahead and stop all the auto follows and after it stops the auto follows it will then fade out whatever song happens to be playing at the time to completely out so let's see what this looks like so I'm gonna hit go music begins playing and you can see that this is playing and the auto follow is playing which means it's waiting for this song to finish to trigger the next song when I go ahead and run the next cue, fade music to stop, remember the first thing it does is it's going to stop all the auto follows and then in five seconds whatever song happens to be playing gets faded out so you can see the auto follow was stopped all the other songs are um, finished or all anything would have been faded out that was playing at the time and that is how you set up pre-show music in SFX there are other ways to do it you can certainly do it with a time code based system uh, but let's leave this one at uh, this for now there you go